I think the dynamic of our team is hard to say, right? Like it's the first tournament played together, like we're just trying to get to know each other. Um, we're not really all from the same region, so we didn't really practice much before like, coming here. The goal for the team is just go as far as we can, you know, making sure that we try our hardest every game and if we lose, we lose, you know, that's just fate. Um, maybe it's just not good enough, but uh, at least we're having fun. That's the mo most important thing. Welcome back to the ESL 1 Kuala Lumpur C closed qualifiers week. As we have Blacklist Rivalry taking on lead esports. Hello guys, just don't have the care in on everybody, you know? Like, and just be free and don't think about the rules. Yeah, just keep going, just feel it, don't, just go. Don't be too yeah. so. Don't be scared and then say your timing. Let's also think about who can play with Korda and Taiga. Yeah. yeah. And Communicate with Korda early on. Yeah. Yeah. Help him. Oh, you do. Ready, no vision nearby, but a bash is slowing this thing down considerably. Oh, a nice torrent onto two. Abed getting in, but Jackie already has the agent in his grasp. Two dead already. Both supports down for Blacklist Rivalry, but it's Jackie who's going to be kited around and killed off as the ancient goes down. It is going to be Blacklist Rivalry taking the series 2 0 over Bleed. We need to think about that they have vision, right? We're doing good moves, but then we get caught on the other side of the map. We need to remember that they can see us somewhere. Um, yeah, better than them. Do you think we should pick the Spectre 14 15? Should we take it away from them? When did they pick the Spectre? It's also a bit like the battle is like significantly kind of weaker against Spectre, right? Yeah. One by one, it's like a hit. Down oh. it goes. Eleven is oh. in. Jackie, though, That's close. will still be able to grab that Aegis. No songs end up coming out here quite too soon. Song on top of the pulverizer, kind of stacking the ultimates. Leaves Jackie Run. all by himself. Masaros forced to uh, wait out the BKB duration. Is Jackie shadow stepping forward here? Everyone on the side of IHC dying one by one. Eleven might just get caught here by the ice flash. Just barely catches him. He will drop hard or not. No regen for him. Pops the BKB in time. Though, as 11 is gonna look for the counter initiate. Nice roll onto three for the damage. I think it's just too much. IHC, they might not be taking this, and they what don't. Four to three gets absolutely obliterated. The grave on the Masaro is turning this around as SC trying to interrupt code and can do nothing. There's at Double least a kill on the Masaro. He can ulti back in and is doing so immediately now on to 11. The snowball on out chasing down Sanctity as DJ and Corden are double teaming him. 11, he's set to go down, and that's gonna be a die back for him. The TPs, they're long out from IHC. They can't reinforce too easily, but they do get to do Corden. That was the Abyssal Blade out from 423. Song finally comes through as Sanctity, who's just fought back, was getting triple teamed here. Here goes Ace. Here's SC. There's no last one for 19. They're going to have to try and make it work. And Ostros immediately gets in the Starbreaker, almost blows up Sanctity. There's going to be another Ice Blast. This one just off the mark, but they're on top of 423, and that is a Not die back down. for him. Ostros finds him. Ace falls nice. to the damage of Gordon. That's three down, two diebacks here. Two buybacks out from Bleed. So so what do you want? First pick, second pick, or Radiant? I think Radiant again. Sure, go Radiant. And one fight that made the game harder was the one we fought before Radiance, mid lane. Remember that? We pack five. Yes. And in this fight, we don't have Radiance yet. No, because of the. We got him. Get jump. Get jump first. Yeah. I think we can fight. If he not, get jump. Okay. Yes, but of course. Yeah, for sure, he get will get jump. jump. Yeah. yeah. And they also never get last one. Back off. They actually have what? They have so many jumps, right? That's good. First, first, yeah. final, that's why. Yeah. We're still strong. I think if they come up, we're stronger, but if they yeah, come yeah. then we lose. Time for a lower bracket, bro. Now real Dolo begins. About blinking on it, and in fact, does he actually finds the king 11 as his second life? But he's gonna be in some major trouble, especially as DJ is breaking apart these back lines. SC does get off the global signs, so there's gonna be the turn away to follow through with the pulverize immediately interrupting that one. But the king is still alive with the kick. They've actually kicked 4 2 3 back at the Jackie. The ice blast is gonna be off the mark. Corden just letting it go here with the pulverize and that egg scepter upgrade. As in trouble is Sanctity now, does manage to get another roll away, but full support now down for the fight from IHC. No buybacks remaining for this entire squad, Winter, and they fail to get a single kill and they might not get another kill for the rest of the qualifiers as game two they are falling one by one goes 11 dead for 90 seconds dj almost into the fountain but kicks sanctity right back out into his death that's four down and that's ihc out of the qualifiers bleed will move on to day number two 
as they take down IHC 2-0. Oh, you need to look at the high ground. I think when you want a high ground... Yeah, I feel like that Rampian, but they're so strong actually. No, but uh, you just need to be ready. If you want a high ground, probably toss me a snowball. You want the first initiation to dodge the uh, insole, right? Yeah. Nice guys. Yeah, can, can. Another day. Another, Another day. day. Another day. Tomorrow, Smart. 2 p.m. again, guys. 2 p.m.? Yeah. As a team, right? I think first game, we we are not doing our best. I mean, maybe it's first, first match of our rooster, new rooster. Uh, sec second series, I think we do better. We wanna achieve something like as a team and then go to the, the goal, I mean the big goal together. We're back in the lower bracket now where we are following Aurora as they take on lead esports. Uh, yeah, no pressure. No pressure. Yeah. I mean, we, we, we beat this team before in DPC. Good. I say let's win. Holy shit. Mm. I think also we need to make sure we have heroes that can kill, a lot a lot of damage. I think Pugna. No. Mm, inch. Inch. Pugna. I like inch ban. Yeah. As Corden and now Taiga and DJ all making their way through the twin gate. It's in trouble. It's 23. The disruption not stopping that Chakram. Playing all five heroes from Bleed here to fight. I really think there's a way out of this one for Ali. As DJ is going to get swept up by Armel. Good call it. Game one in the bag here as Aurora will be able to take it. One, two, three. I feel like maybe we should consider banning this Kunka. They first pick Kunka, we go Prime, right? They ban the Inaga, we ban Morphling. I feel like the Morphling ban should be Rave King instead. I feel like we just pick A and we don't have to worry about Morph or Necro. We have like more bans. We could do that too. Guys, if, if you want to if you want to unblock the big camp, you need to you need to push the lane. Yeah. Right? If yeah. you want to make sure that they cannot stack the small camp, you need to push the lane. Yeah. Right? So pushing the lane into them is good. Yeah. Okay. All and right, that's, a, that's a golem drop here on the 23. Does not have reincarnation for 15. Trying to life steal off the golem. Can we not nope. win that win? It's already gone. Where is Armel in the fight? He's on top of Jackie. Jackie goes down. That's going to be the mega security as Masaros does manage to get off the time loss. No more for 40 seconds. The beautiful terrorize might have just saved his life there, but it's 23 Savage opening up a can of hurt onto Bleed. As Aurora are finally able to focus down onto the tier 4 towers. Two heroes left. You have Taiga back in nine seconds. Tier 4 towers available for Corden. He's going to be jumped. He's going to be killed. 23 now with the ultra kill. A tip uh, from Armel onto him as Masaris being dove in his fountain. The golem is going to be dropped. Splinter, but it's not going to change a thing. This game is over. Aurora, they're going to take the series 2-0. to zero And knock bleed out from the CQ. The first weeks. It's gonna get better, but we need to work for it. I think we just, uh, it just was a bit harder to adjust to the new players, perhaps. Uh, it took a, we needed a bit more time, maybe, to, yeah, find the, the groove together. Um, like we just played bad, and maybe our drafts were not optimal. It turned out that. We were not actually ready compared to the other teams. We're going to have a lot more focus on, you know, watching replays together and talking more about how people want to play, both in the lane and mid game, and just in general, be more on the same page uh, as how we want to play. Try to stay on top of the meta and just, you know, staying on top of what's going on.